communities. We know how to solve homelessness. I have a heart for the homeless. Many of them have mental issues that they're dealing with. A vast majority have substance abuse issues. Super simple. You have to have a prime directive. The streets are not your home. Period. Mexican immigrants see America is terrible. Well, <laughs> then go back. But like, let's get straight into this. How how is the best way to solve homelessness and crime in America? Because it has when I, I I'm come from Tijuana, and when I got here, I always hear about America being the greatest nation, uh, being the where no one is poor, you know? And then when I got here, I remember the first time I went to San Diego downtown, it was horrible. And then I went to LA. I can horrible. just see the YouTube video. Mexican immigrant says America is horrible. You know, it's just <laughs> like, it's just see it. No, I'm giving you a hard time. Yeah, it, it's very simple. Um, we know how to solve crime. You lock up criminals and you don't relax penalties. We know how to solve homelessness. I have a heart for the homeless. Many of them have mental issues that they're dealing with. A vast majority have substance abuse issues. Super simple. You have to have a prime directive. The streets are not your home, period. We're going to get you help. We're going to bring you to a shelter. We're going to help you recover. We're going to get you treatment. We're going to make sure you get attention. You're going to get fed. You're going to get clothed. You don't do it in the open air. It's not good for you. It's not good for society. It's not good for our hospital system. It's not good for anybody. For example, if you go to a local hospital between 1 and 5 a.m., I guarantee there'll be two to three homeless people every night that run into traffic. They get run over by a bus. They get run over by a car. And it, it is completely unnecessary in the sense Whoa. that if they're in a shelter, that wouldn't be happening. And these poor people, a lot of them die. They run into traffic. It takes huge resources. You know, you have to all of a sudden, you know, read direct a lot of things in the emergency room. Other people who need critical care might get triaged and they might not get the same attention that's necessary. That's just one example of dozens. And um, so we, we need to do what we once did in this country, which is we love you. We're not going to allow you on the streets. We're going to nicely and kindly pick you up and we're going to bring you to a homeless shelter. And if you come back again, we're going to bring you back to the homeless shelter. And I, for one, do not want to raise my child in a country where I have to tell her what to do when she's playing in a playground if she encounters a hypodermic needle. That is literally there are guidelines in Seattle and Portland public schools of what kids, what to do if you're a seven or eight year old if you come across a hypodermic needle. And that, that is the excesses of allowing a fringe population to basically manipulate the standard of living of the rest of us. So have compassion for the homeless. The streets are not your home. Thank you so much. I yeah, appreciate thank it. You, thank you, Charlie. Thank you. Guys, I love his response. I, and I'll, I'll say this. I honestly believe that homeless people are going through a lot, that people who so they are, we're actually rich and like life hits them and see when life hits you sometimes it can take two, three years. You you really your brain can't process, you don't want to do anything, you just wanna chill, like but the thing is that life keeps on moving and if you're not doing anything, it's gonna leave you behind and life is like that, life is fucked up and I actually pity people like that. I want to say pity per se, but like most of them, I feel they're going through some issues, especially mental issues, or they started doing drugs. Bro, drugs have ruined a lot of people's life in America, the UK. Like drugs is, bro, drugs have ruined a lot of people's life. And it actually breaks my heart because you see men, women, like on the streets lying down is just so heartbreaking, like try to pick them up that high on meds like it's it breaks my heart to see people like that and guys just don't really think about this like tell me how you perceive people like this like tell me your reasons why you feel they are outside on the streets guys let's talk in the comment section i'll see you next time guys